Hi friends, we are almost at the end of National Poetry Month. Um, tomorrow will be our last day, but we are still not finished. Today I would like to share with you some haiku. Um, it is a pretty famous form of poetry that you've probably heard of. It is um, a Japanese style of poetry that usually is very short and has a first line with five syllables second line with seven syllables, and a third line with five syllables. And usually uh, it, it captures a moment in time, um, and it's usually related to nature or the world around you. That's not always the case, but traditional haiku is. But this book is particularly special because it, they are poems by a man named Richard Wright who grew up in the South, and at a time when African-American boys did not imagine they would ever grow up to be famous writers, but he did. He wrote novels and essays and poetry, um, and he moved to France as an older gentleman, and it was then that he wrote thousands and thousands of haiku. And the book that I have today is only 12 of the thousands of haiku that he wrote. And the um, illustrations are actually um, photographs by Nina Cruz, who is a famous um, children's author and does a lot of um, books that have photographs in them. And so she wrote this book with a little bit of biographical information about Richard Wright and collected 12 of his haiku and included photographs. And Richard Wright said that he wanted his work to reflect the experiences of young brown boys. And so she, Nina Cruz, the photographer, included pictures to go with the haiku of young brown boys. And it's a beautiful combination of her photography skills and Richard Wright's beautiful poetry. Because haiku are so short, I can read you this whole book. I think it's the first one all month that I've been able to read the whole book. It's called Seeing Into Tomorrow, Haiku by Richard Wright, Biography and Illustrations by Nina Cruz. And I'm not gonna read um, the biography. I just gave you a little bit of a snippet. Um, but if you are interested, you should definitely check out The Life of Richard Wright. And I'm going to read this with permission from the publisher, um, Millbrook Press out of Minneapolis. I'm going to show you this page. It shows a picture of Richard Wright. He grew up in Mississippi. All right. Just enough of snow for a boy's finger to write his name on the porch. As my delegate, my shadow imitates me this first day of spring. Is this the dirt road winding through windy trees that I must travel? So insistently a crow caws in a spring field that I want to look. Under a low sky, a boy walking with a dog in the spring rain. These are good spring poems for the month of April. The clouds are smiling at a single yellow kite swaying 
under them. You can see with a lot of these photographs by Nina Cruz that she did artwork with the pictures. This is not just one photograph, but she did a lot of artistic and creative work in the way she put a lot of photographs together to make them interesting and artistic beyond just one sim single simple photograph. Empty railroad tracks. A train sounds in the spring hills and the rails leap with life. A loud ticking clock sounds in rhythm with the heat of a long, slow day. Here's a young man enjoying nice weather out on the porch. Suddenly mindful, the tree was looking at me each green leaf alive. And maybe you notice in this photograph, but well, in this um, picture, many photographs are put together sort of into the shape of a tree. Say, Mr. Beetle, are you taking a detour? Crawling on my knee? As day tumbles down, the setting sun's signature is written in red. And this is the last one. A spring sky so clear that you feel you are seeing into tomorrow. And that poem, that haiku, was where the title of the book came from, Seeing Into Tomorrow. And certainly Richard Wright saw into his tomorrow and saw a vision of a world where young brown boys could grow up to become all kinds of things. Thank you for joining me. I hope that you maybe someday check out some more of Richard Wright's work and also Nina Cruz's um, children's books with photographs and um, Tomorrow is our last day of National Poetry Month, so I hope you'll join us and um, finish out the month celebrating poetry. Bye!